Hey guys, welcome to another video of Simulink tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use assignment block and how it works. So if you just want to know how exactly it works and how can you use it, you can just go to in the help option by typing assignment block and you will get a lot of info about assignment block. So I'm just skipping this part and we are concentrating on this model. So what I have done here is I have taken this assignment block and in its setting I have changed the index option. So if you take assignment block from simulink library and double click on it you can see here the index option is index vector so instead of that I am using index vector port so which lets me to provide the index values of my own choice okay so that's just the setting part of this assignment block so the input y0 is you can say is initial value of vector y okay then the u u is a vector of values that i want to assign to y so at the end values from u will be written into the vector y okay and of course the index vector so initially i'm just taking one two three four five as index values so they are in sequence okay so now if i simulate this model so let's just see what is the sequence of vector input values which is three one four two one three one four two one okay so let's check our graph so if you see here the first value of the vector y is 3 then 1 then 4 then 2 and then 1 so they are as per the sequence and so if you see here each vector output value has different color code so we are just noting it down that is first element of the output vector will be of color yellow then aqua then orange green and violet and you will see why i am doing this so if you come back to the model and i am just reversing the order of the index values so 5 4 3 2 and 1 okay save the model and then simulate the model so now if you see the violet was the last value of the output vector which is the fifth element so the fifth element had color violet and then fourth had the green then orange and so on so which is in reverse order but the values now this time are as per our input so the first value from the input vector is assigned to the fifth element of the output vector then the fourth value of the output vector is equal to the second value of the input vector and so on. So by now you have understood that what assignment block actually does. It just assigns input vector values to the output vector but depending on the index. So if the index vector has first value as 3 and the input vector has value 5 then the third element of the output vector will be 5. Hope you have understood and 
that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching